guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle. I'm Natalie. And we apologize in advance for the really loud background noise because it is extremely windy outside today and it is really loud in this room. Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so we have another themed video for you guys today. If you can kind of guess what the theme might be. Mm -hmm. Funny thing is my shirt matches the theme more than Natalie's. Yeah. But you want to start? So this is um a Disney this is my Disney princess shirt and it has um most of the princesses except Cinderella. It's missing it's missing random ones, that's the thing. Yeah. It's missing like Cinderella and then like the newer ones obviously. Yeah. But yeah. it's all the way up to Mulan mm -hmm. and Jasmine. So yeah. And she's got her little kid ears. Two flower kid ears for missing one. And I have some too. And then I have my um, soft kitty shirt. So if you uh, get the reference, comment down below what the reference is. Because otherwise it won't really make much sense to anyone else. But as you can get probably guess by now, the theme is Hello Kitty. And these are obviously mostly Natalie's backpack. I only have one. I have four. She does. She'd have more, but there's a few of the older ones that I'm trying to find her. That's not like $300. <laughs> No, if I do manage to find them, or if you guys know or are selling some and would sell it to me closer to retail, let me know. Um, but yes, Natalie does have four of them. I do have one, and it's a Comic Con exclusive, so we'll get to that. But Natalie, you want to start with the first one? Yep. So, oh, <laughs> so this is a white Hello Kitty polka dot backpack, and it has some faces of Hello Kitty. Her just sitting down looking cute. Her looking like she's scared. And mm, that's mostly the fold. So it looks like it's a um, all of a print backpack. Mm -hmm. Which by the way, people have asked or I've been very I was very confused about for a long time. When you see a backpack that's marked AOP in capital letters, it means all over print. So it's referring to backpacks that are like this, where it's like a repeating pattern all over the bike, and not like like a face one, like say the pork right here. So those are considered like, I think they call them cosplay styles. So like it's one thing, they're all gonna look alike. But with bags like this, the all over print, there's a chance that your placement's gonna be strange. This one too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they, um, these ones run the, if you're buying them blind online and you don't get a photo of the actual product that you're just buying straight from like a small business or something, um, you do run the risk of um, buying a bag with placement that's not super great and the characters get cut off. And also the black says, Loudfly loves Hello Kitty. Mm -hmm. I like that the Hello Kitty ones have like cute, um, cute blacks for them. And the inside is, um, is um, black with her with her um, red polka dot bows. That's cute. So we did get this one. I managed to find this super cheap um, secondhand off of, I can't remember if it's Poshmark or Macari or however you say that. Um, but it did come with an ink mark and I have not been able to figure out how to get it off of there. So I've tried the magic eraser it's and cool. stuff. Let me add the Mr. Clean magic eraser and stuff. Um, I've tried just alcohol and a little like cotton swab. Uh, so I haven't gotten that to work yet. So if I find a solution, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, that's the first one. And then I have this one. So this one is a Comic-Con exclusive from 2020. Um, it was for San Diego Comic-Con. And I want to say that it was FYE's um, exclusive. So. FYE is for your entertainment. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little kind of small store. I mean, they have a lot of branches, but you don't, you don't hear about them too, too often. But during like Comic-Con season, Loungefly and a lot of other things do it too. But Loungefly does do, they partner up with a lot of different um, stores and stuff like Box Lunch, Hot Topic are the main ones. Um, they do FYE, I think sometimes Barnes and Nobles and other stuff like that too. They'll pair up with each of those businesses and release an exclusive that is only sold um, in conjunction with that business. They're, they're sold at the Comic-Con, um, but then that business will be the one that will carry the bag afterwards. Like I have one from um, 2009 
the Scoops Ahoy bag from Stranger Things. That one was like a GameStop exclusive. And then the Porg one was from 2018, but I don't know whose exclusive that was. But anyways, here's the Kaiju Kitty one. And again, we mentioned the all over print. This is an all over print one, so I did have to worry a little bit about placement, although I think I got fairly lucky. In regards to the placement on there, I can't quite remember, but each of those kitties are meant to be like a different, um, what's it called? Like a different type of monster, like a sea monster, or that one's like a robot. But um, I think there's like five or six, I think there's like six different outfits that she's in. And I did manage to get um, at least five of them on the front right there, which is pretty good. Like this was, the Mecca one was the one that I wanted the most of, and I did actually get two of that on the front. And like I said, I did get lucky enough to get like a different combination of different ones on the front there. Mine does come with a flaw though. Side pockets upside down on one side. So that's fun. I mean, a lot of people don't really like that. I'm not a huge fan of like um, defects in the bag. A lot of people like will collect specifically the ones with like upside down plaques and everything. I mean, if I get one, I don't mind it, but I'm not gonna like, for me, it's not more valuable to have the defect, you know? So I think that's the same with like a lot of collectible things. Some people really like the ones that are like messed up, um, while others, you know, we paid the money for it. We want it to look the way it's supposed to. Um, but this, in, in this case, since it's just the side pocket, I don't mind as much. And there's the one on this side. And then it does have the Sanrio in the front back there. Back. Laid out just the same as all the usual ones that we have. We've got the front pocket, big main compartment, two side pockets. Um, let's check the inside. So you've got these little squares with all of the different Hello Kitty kaijus. And then it's right there, printed on red. I'm gonna double check, but we've mentioned before in past videos, most of these backpacks have no um, dividers on the inside or even little zippered pockets on the inside, and this one is not. But, yeah, that's it for that one. And then these other three backpacks that Natalie have, we have reviewed them in previous videos. Um, but since we were, this one's like a themed video for Hello Kitty, she's just gonna show you guys really quick the other three that she has. So, these two ones are from Comic-Con, I think. They're in the San Diego Comic-Con, too. They weren't exclusive, right? Yeah, they weren't exclusive, but they were sold out. Yeah, they were sold out. They weren't exclusives, but they were sold around that time, yeah. So they were part of, like, um, what was being displayed at the Comic-Con 2019. Mm -hmm. We got this one from actually Comic-Con, because mm -hmm. this one was sold out. Mm -hmm. So now they really wanted the watermelon one. So they had a whole line of like different Hello Kitty like fruits. Cause I think these two were the backpacks and they had like um, a lemon or something, right? That was a crossbody purse, the yellow one. Mm -hmm. And then they also had, I want to say a fanny pack. That was the strawberry. I think so, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so now they originally wanted this one and daddy was going to buy it for her. Except they were actually sold out of this one, just to show you guys too the Black Dose and Rush Photos Hello Kitty. So she actually did settle, got the strawberry one instead. Super cute. They're both cute. Mm -hmm. So she was still happy with the strawberry, but we did have to keep an eye out to eventually find the watermelon one for her. Is this falling string? <laughs> <laughs> I did notice that their ears tend to flop a little, like this one's pretty flopped down. And I think it's just the way they're placed on the bag. So they're sewn onto the corners, so they do bend down a little bit. I use this one a lot, and still not bend and it's pressed. Yeah, like I said, I think it's just more of like the way it's sewn on, and so it kind of collapsed a little bit on this one. But yeah, so these are the two fruit ones. You want to show the inside really quick? My, the strawberry one, and the yeah, strawberry one um, has some stuff in it because I use that one the most. <laughs> um, I don't know yeah. So. Similar on the inside, it says Hello Kitty with the fruit, and then um, just a nice color. So these are super cute. Oh, I think they're very cute. I'd say they'd be like best friend backpacks. Mm -hmm. There's that one, and then this other one you got just for Christmas recently. My favorite. Dun, 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 dun. It's 
my gumball one. And it has um most of the characters. And here is Kurobi um falling out. And so there's it says my melody, that's Maru, Pom Pom Piran, Tuxedo Sam, the two angel stars, Hello Kitty, and Choco Cat. And like the um gumball part, this part, like the um top part, the dome part, it's like a kind of like laminated material. And yeah. And it's slightly bigger than the other backpacks too. Just a little bit taller. Oh. To have like more of the, like, the details on it. To mm -hmm. have like, the giant like the dome. Yeah. 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 It's just a little bit taller, but yeah, it's. I mean, it partly is like the detail at the top, like Natalie says, where it's just the ears sticking out. But the bag itself is just slightly bigger. Um, but I think it's just to compensate a little bit too that there's no front pocket. But this is Natalie's favorite. I had to look around for this one too. Finally got it for her for Christmas. But yeah, she's looking for a few other ones. If we do manage to find them, I'm just, you know, even for me, I don't like paying in the hundreds for the bags. Um, so I, I don't, I try to stay as close to retail as possible and e even on my bag. So I don't really want to be spending two, $300 on a bag that, you know, a little nine year old doesn't take the greatest care of because she's nine. Um, mm -hmm. Also, they don't have like this, they don't have like side pockets, but the pocket is on, on, the si on this side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is laid out different, uh, quite a bit differently than some of the main ones, but if you're a Hello Kitty fan, you think this is cute, it's perfect. And for a little kid, she's not that concerned necessarily about side pockets or front pockets anyways. Everything just goes straight inside the big pouch. Um, but yeah, we're looking for, which one is the one you're looking for? You want the Hello Kitty Rockets, right? That's the purple one? Yeah. Yeah, so there's the purple one, so it's like Hello Kitty with like, um, she's flying in a little rocket all over. And the Constellation one is very cute, that's the black one. Do you, you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh. I've shown it to you. That one's cute too. It's like, so if you guys know where to get them or would like to sell it to us um, without, you know, breaking the bank, let us know. But otherwise, yeah, this is uh, mostly Natalie's Hello Kitty collection. If you Sorry, you can keep going. If you are a Hello Kitty fan, I recommend you get getting some of these backpacks. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've talked about with collectors and stuff where they like focus their collections a little bit more. Natalie's definitely focused around princesses and Hello Kitty. And it keeps you from getting a little too overwhelmed because yeah, there's a lot of choices. And the the longer I'm in like the lounge fly kind of community and like the groups on Facebook and stuff, I've been noticing that's kind of like the main thing is that new collectors will come in, get overwhelmed that there's so many bags and just buy a ton. And then realize that's not a great idea because then you end up with too many. Now the smart thing to do would be to try to focus your uh, collection a little bit. Like there's plenty of bags that I think are really, really cute, but I'm like, I don't love them as much as others. So talk myself out of it to not let my collection grow too big. Cause I want to say between me and Natalie, we're now sitting around probably 180. Cause I think the last time we counted, we were around 100. 50 we have gotten some more in the meantime Natalie's actually gotten the majority of like the newer ones um, But I have snagged a few like I said, it's because we're trying to uh, Not spend so much with the new little baby on the way um, But yeah, that's it for today. Yeah, anything else? No. Oh So before we go though, can we just say that we're super excited to find out that we have watchers from like around the world? Yeah, so we had a few people comment saying that they found our videos and so they've been watching them from um, England and Scotland. So, you guys should comment down below where you guys are from and you should also comment down below if you're a Hello Kitty character. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you're, even if you're in the US and stuff, let us know like, you know, where you are, just general region, or if you like, let us know the state you're in and stuff. We're kind of curious about where everyone's from because it is kind of cool that we have fans that are uh, um, not local. <laughs> Because, no. you know, we started this channel about two years ago. We never really, we weren't expecting it to get like huge or anything like that. But we just wanted to share a love of Loungefly with everyone. And, uh, well, Loungefly and, you know, we throw in random videos every now and then too. 
Um, but yeah, that's it for today. What do they need to do? Like, subscribe, turn the notification bell so you know when we post another video. And like we said, comment below, let us know where you are. And uh, Natalie wants to know what your favorite Hello Kitty character. What's yours? My Bobby. Is that why you want to name the baby Melody? Yeah. We're still deciding on a name. We're not very good about this right now. So we had boys' names <laughs> kind of picked out. We were like, "It's watch, it's going to be a girl. And we have no idea <laughs> about a name for the baby. Because we were stuck on baby girl names. Like Natalie actually wasn't really, her name wasn't finalized until literally she was born. Like we, I think my husband, I let my husband pick out her name. And uh, he had narrowed it down to like two while we were at the hospital having her. So, well, we did settle on Natalie once we saw her, so. Uh, it'll probably be the exact same thing with this new one, so. We're still looking. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see y'all next time.